Are you is that offer still available? Turns out he was in the last one too. I don't know what character he was, but he was in the last one as well. And then when they walk into the when the, the our beloved characters walk yeah. into the bar, the bartender with that big old glass eye, that big old monocle eye, mm. that's the composer. Mm. That, that's a, the musical composer. Which I thought was an, another side note that I thought was pretty fucking cool. Yeah. So then we get we get inside and. We we also hear that that Poe was a spice trader, and which is the equivalent of a drug runner. Um, yeah. And then when they were when they're in the bar, they meet Babu Freak, who I thought was badass. I thought he was kind of a cool character. Babu Freak and Babu Freak. Babu Freak. Uh, <laughs> Just the name. <laughs> yeah, Babu Freak. Yeah. So this is one of the parts that I, I really, really liked, but I think if I would have been doing it, I would have done it a little differently. Hmm. They, you know, there's three BO says, this is the only way for me to tell you where this is at. And, um, and Ray told, Hey, you know, the odds better than anybody. Um, which is kind of another nod to, to back in the films when Han Solo was like, don't ever tell don't me the, tell odds. the odds. Yeah. Well, now, you know, hey, you know the odds. I don't have to tell you. Mm-hmm. And and three PO stands up and he turns around and he's like, he's like, and Poe says, "Hey, what are you doing there, three PO?" And he's like, "I'm taking one last look at my friends." Yeah. Now, that was a heartwarming, heart t- t- you know, heartstring tugging moment. But I wish he would have said something like that with the original characters. You know, with with you know Luke, with Leia yeah. and with Luke. And, and uh, you know, solo and all of that. I wish that something w- like that would have been said. That would have been cool. Yeah. Uh, okay, but then they wipe his memory. Three PO's gone, and yeah. we get then all of a sudden pops up the evil three PO. I call him an evil three PO. I don't know because if he really is. He's a machine. he's not, not really evil or evil. good, but he's translating Sith language. His eyes turn red. Right, which is <laughs> pretty badass. Yeah. Uh, and then he tells them to go to the uh, that what they're looking for is on the moon of Endor. And where's Endor? That's right. Endor is where the Ewoks are. You saw so it's not again. Yeah. So it's not necessarily where the Return of the Jedi took place, but it's on one of their moons, so it's nearby. Yes. And then when they're trying to go get away, you know, then uh, Ray and and uh, Kylo get into a little teleport. I don't know what do you want to call it. Their telepathy battle. Um, oh, that's and they realize you know that's when he reaches and grabs her necklace, right? Or did that oh, that was when they were in the desert. That was in the desert. So that the that's when we first see that, which was kind of cool. That we had never seen that force power before. Um, this time. Uh, there he realizes that they're on the planet and that's when he sends the knights of ren down there to get them and and they're at this point in time up in his in his ship and he is on the ground looking yes. for him um and when they're doing their lightsaber battle he they knock over or they destroy the stand that the busted up darth vader, uh, darth vader helmet yeah and now there's a yeah. couple of things that there's a there's a if you get into the canon, uh, the canon of the of the of the story says that Darth Vader actually built a temple, and it was made of all obsidian. Hmm. And it said that that stand, when it shattered, looked very much like obsidian, which means maybe Kylo had went to that temple, hmm. uh, and and that's how he made that that stand for it. Uh, Anyways, and and they're about to they're about to leave, and they get trapped. The, the trio gets trapped. Of course, Ray said she had to go do something else, and um, Hux frees them. And that that's when we find out that he was the spy. Um, and classic, awesome moment. I really liked. He's like, shoot me in the arm, so they know that you know I'm not the spy. And, and Finn. Yeah. Fucking shoots him in the leg. Yeah, <laughs> I thought that was awesome. That was a badass part. I, I liked it. He's yeah, like, that's "What the when he fuck? tells him, "Why are you helping us?" And he's like, "I'm not helping you. I just don't want Ren to win or something like that." 
He's like, I don't give a fuck about you. I don't yeah. want that bitch motherfucker to win. Yeah, basically. Uh, so, um, oh, Ray and uh, Kylo Ren, they, they meet in the hangar. And that's when that's when Kylo finally reveals to Ray that that she is a Palpatine. Um, and then that's when Kylo offers Ray the chance to rule all together. Like, hey, we can rule this together. Much like Anakin did to Padme in Revenge of the Sith. Mm -hmm. uh, he, in fact, said almost the same exact words. We can rule together. We can change the world. We can make it a better place. Um, yeah. And then all of a sudden the fucking Falcon shows up and they take off. And then they know where they got to go. And they got to go to the moon of Endor. And they head there. And that's when it crashes. They kind of no. crash force land in. There was a part there, I guess. It was when when they when she was in in his quarters, and they were fighting. You know, obviously he was not down on the planet, it, and uh, the the where he tells her that I, I, I the, that time I asked you to take my hand. What right. was it in, in that scene right there? Yeah, what, that was his, well, kind of. Or he says it? that several times. Because there's one time when 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 she finally tells him that she did want her to take his hand, but she wanted to take. Oh, Ben's that's later hand. on. That's, oh, so it happened yeah, that's later, later on. on. See, like yeah. I said, I've only watched yeah. it once, so I got all these things jumping around in my head. And okay, so yeah, that happened yeah, later that's on. later on. Okay. Yeah. Um. So they land on the moon of Endor, yeah. and that's when we find out that there's all the people there, and they ride those really cool hairy horses. Um, okay. And then we also find out that those people. Are former stormtroopers just like Finn was, yes. um, which was, which is cool because you you almost wonder like all right, uh, now that they said something, that's when it kind of dawned on me. Oh well, if there's one, there's got to be more. Yes. Uh, if one left, more maybe more did. So yeah, we find out that a whole group did leave, and then we find out that that, that Ray took off and she was like, "Fuck all you bitches, I'm going to do my own thing." Um, and she's heading to the the Death Star, the, the the wreckage of the Death Death Star, there on the moon of Endor, uh, which was, I gotta say, that was one of the best cinematography I've seen in a very long time. To get those waves crashing the way they did, and, and it's almost like that that Death Star wreckage was controlling the climate. Like it, it was it was causing all kinds of shit with the waves. Um, yeah, like the moon would. Yeah. So it was very very. Yeah, very well done cinematography. Um, and then we see Ray climbing the, the wreckage. Now, once again, that's another moment when we first met Ray. She was climbing wreckage of yeah of of, of, of the first order. Yeah, uh, it wasn't the first order wreckage. It was the uh, empires. Um, One of the, the empires, empires, empires. Yeah, cruisers. Yeah. Yep. Uh, which so I, I was like, okay, that's that. Once again, I, I felt really oh wow, this is another trip down memory lane. Um, and then she 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 goes into the throne room, and she was standing in the very same area that Luke Skywalker stood in, which is just a power such a powerful scene. In that, just seeing the the wreckage of that of that window was yeah. just amazing. It was so well done. Oh, ah. Uh, and you know, all that, when you see it, and, and all, and you see the Emperor's chair there, and all those memories flood back of, of Luke fighting Anakin, and, and the, the Emperor hitting him with the lightning bolts, and and oh, it was such Luke a flood of Darth great Vader. memories. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so then all of a sudden, she finds what she was looking for. She finds the Sith Finder. And that's when she all of a sudden has sees a vision, a Sith version of herself. Wow, that was cool. That was uh, a Sith version of Ray was awesome. She yeah. had, uh, you know, she, she was very always liked her her quarter staff. So when that thing went ding ding, and she had a very Darth Maul style uh, lightsaber. lightsaber, that was really really badass. Um, yeah. Now. For me, that kind of reminded me of when Luke went searching and he had to fight Vader under under the ground. Remember when he was training with when Yoda? He, went into that he had cave to fight Dagobah. Yep, yep. And Yoda he had to told fight him his... he, when he tells him what's in there, and Yoda tells him only what you take in there. Yep, 
And that's kind of how I felt. I kind of got that same feeling when Ray was fighting herself. Um, kind of like, uh, you know, Luke took his darkest spear in there, and so did Ray. Yeah. Uh, At that so point anyways. in time, when I, saw, when I saw the Sith version of Ray, I was thinking, oh, shit, my theory might really be right. And I was like, oh, that yeah. sucks. Uh, I, I like her as the hero, but... I do too. Uh, so. and, and I don't know. I, they did it really, really well though. Um, yeah. And then so she finds it and then, oh, and then all of a sudden Kylo shows up and he crushes that fucking Sith Finder. Yeah. Now there's only one in the world. Um, and that, him and R- R- Kylo and Ray have such a fight on that, on that wreckage. Jesus Christ, was that a badass fight. Man, it was just an epic battle of the ages. And it kind of reminded me, harkened me back to when Obi Wan and Anakin were were fighting on that I, that planet made of lava, and yeah. all the lava was flying everywhere, and they were such an epic battle. And it was just kind of the inverse of that, you know. In this one, Kylo and, and Rey are fighting, and all that water's flying up, and the steam's rising off of the lightsabers, and, and yeah, so so good. Yeah, that one. and then. Uh, and that's when when it flashes over to to Leia, and yes. and and, and she lays down the, the little the, what was the little character's name, Maz, yeah, um, the, Maz yeah. something or another. Yeah, I can't think of her name. She's yeah. just like like the Yoda female. Like, yeah, yeah, the little wise one. She was like. She's doing what she what she knows she has to do, and it'll 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 take everything she has left. Um, and then she goes in there and she lays down, <clears throat> and she reaches out to Ben. Mm-hmm. And, and now I want to say that there's a distinction. Kylo Ren is fighting Ray, but Leia yes. reaches out to Ben. There, they, that that distinction has got to be made because they're two different people. Uh, they might be in the same body, but they're completely different people. And yeah. when he re- when she connects with him, he mm-hmm. pauses in his battle, and that's when Ray fucking gets boom, him, gets gets him, fucking gets him, sticks it to him. Fuck you, Kylo Ren. Yeah. Um, and then at the, the very moment she does that, she's overcome with grief. She knows she fucked up. She knows she shouldn't have done that. Uh and she fucking force heals him. Yes, and. and and when she force heals him, though, it, it shows him compassion. Like, like it opens up the world. Like the door has now been opened for Ben to walk through. Yes. And and she takes off. You know, you know, another thing that uh, I got from that scene kind of reminded me. I don't know, kind of like, you know, when a little boy likes a girl or something, you know, and she tells him that that's the part when she's like, I wanted to take your hand, but I wanted to take Ben's hand. Kind of like right. a, a big fucking, uh, his mind is blown right there. Like, wait a minute. All I have to do is give up this Kylo Ren shit and I get the girl. Oh, fuck right. Like, shit. that's all I had to do. I'm going to get laid. <laughs> fuck all you bitches. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like that. That's a, oh, wow. Yeah. It was very, very badass. Well, uh, but for the first time, we see some something different in, in Kylo's eyes. You know, yes. we see Ben for the first time. Yes. Um, and then he sees and his then, dad. Yeah. Uh, Which, Han at, shows up. At first, I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. What happened here? I, he didn't have Force Ghost powers. But nope. as it turns out, it was Kylo's memory. Right. And he's because he tells him, "You're just the memory." He goes, "I'm your memory." Yep. And and we see Ben. He yes. says, "You know, he 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 says, I know what I, I'm scared. I'm I'm scared. I'm not strong enough for what I know I have to do." And once again, just like we heard right, uh, he- uh, Han Solo say before, he tell him he is. Yeah. Um. So it's a very, very touching scene. I I personally was not expecting to see Han Solo come back in that fashion. No. But that was really, really cool. That was, like I said, that um, was good fan service. And they, they basically kind of recreated the scene where he, how he kills him. But this time around, this time he turns around and throws the the Sith saber or the, the, the lightsaber away. Yep. Yeah, he chucks it off. Chucks it off. And... <clears throat> 
and, and that was kind of the final moment. Like, okay, now we know Ben is back. Ben is here. Yeah. And then it's flashback to uh, uh, 